the fastest NFL players. In football, muscles and strength aren't everything. To score a touchdown, you have to be the fastest. Get ready to meet the real NFL speed beasts. Number 10, Curtis Samuel. A three-way tie. I'll first talk about Carolina Panthers prodigy Curtis Samuel. He's so fast that he clocked 4.31 seconds of the 40-yard dash at the 2017 NFL Draft and was signed by the Carolina team, though he now plays for the Washington football team. Also with a 4.31 mark is the Arizona Cardinals sensation wide receiver Andy Isabella, considered the best at his position in the college league and a former All-American. But if someone comes as a surprise with this mark, it's Paris Campbell, the wide receiver for the Indianapolis Colts. Why is it surprising? Because he weighs about 208 pounds, 20 more than his teammates in this place. Impressive! Number 9. Tyreek Hill Another tie. I'll start with the most explosive player currently. When the wide receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs catches the ball, the opposing team panics, as stopping him will be pretty hard. Although Tyreek Hill had a controversial start to his career, he still managed to score a 4.29 second 40-yard dash at Pro Day, which was his last chance to be drafted as he was ignored in the 2016 NFL Draft and wasn't invited to the NFL Combine due to his arrests. Also clocking 4.29 seconds was Fabian Washington, the former cornerback for the Baltimore Ravens and Oakland Raiders. He's currently retired and became a coach and NFL commentator. Number 8. Jalen Mirick. Being fast isn't the same as being a legend. In this three-way tie, there are three athletes who posted 4.28 seconds in the 40-yard dash but didn't have the brightest careers. Jalen Merrick, the former cornerback for the Jacksonville Jaguars, Minnesota Vikings, Atlanta Falcons, and DC Defenders, lasted less than a year with each of those teams. Jacoby Ford was the former Oakland Raiders wide receiver from 2010 to 2013 and then spent less than a year with the New York Jets, Tennessee Titans, Edmonton Eskimos, Montreal Alouettes, and Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Lastly, with a less sad career, J.J. Nelson, the Indianapolis Colts wide receiver, he previously played for the Arizona Cardinals, Oakland Raiders, San Francisco 49ers, and the Buffalo Bills. Number 7. Henry Ruggs III Here's a four-way tie. First, the young wide receiver for the Las Vegas Raiders, he ran the 40-yard dash in 4.27 seconds at the 2020 NFL Combine. Also with that mark, the new Chicago Bears wide receiver Marquise Goodwin, another player who clocked 4.27 seconds but whose career didn't shine much was Stanford Route, the former cornerback for the Oakland Raiders, Kansas City Chiefs, Houston Texans, and Baltimore Ravens. Finally, Tyrone Calico, the Tennessee Titans wide receiver from 2003 to 2005, who had an early retirement due to a knee injury. Number 6. Dree Archer This is the last tie, I promise. In this position is the former running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers, New York Jets, and Buffalo Bills, the lightning fast Dree Archer, who ran 4.26 seconds in the 40-yard dash at the 2014 NFL Scouting Combine. But he wasn't the first to hit that mark. Jerome Mathis also posted 4.26 seconds in 2005. Fun fact, Jerome Mathis, former wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Power, Houston, Texas, and Toronto Argonauts, had to attend court because his pit bulls escaped and sowed terror in his neighborhood. What a mess! Number 5. Chris Johnson Time to raise the bar. This running back clocked 4.24 seconds in the 40-yard dash at the 2018 NFL Combine being the fastest in the first time the NFL used electronic timers to measure players. His record as the fastest lasted a long time, nine years to be exact. This got him drafted by the Tennessee Titans, with whom he played from 2008 to 2013, and after a short period with the New York Jets, he signed with the Arizona Cardinals before retiring in 2018. Number 4. John Ross and the fastest mark recorded electronically is by New York Giants wide receiver John Ross. Yes, he's the one who dethroned Chris Johnson as the fastest. He ran the 40-yard dash in 4.22 seconds at the 2017 NFL Combine. What a speed, ladies and gentlemen. That was potential the Cincinnati Bengals weren't about to let slip away, so he got immediately drafted and played for them through 2020. Then the New York Giants took him for $2.5 million. Number 3. Ike Taylor Before the NFL digitally measured players, there were football legends who had to be hand-timed. 
In 2003, former Pittsburgh Steelers cornerback posted 4.18 seconds in the 40-yard dash. However, when Ike Taylor was signed by the Steelers, sports journalist Mark Madden said he was a bad pick, but he was wrong big time. Taylor not only played with the Pittsburgh Steelers from 2003 to 2014, but also won the Super Bowl twice with them. Number 2. Vincent Edward Jackson Oh yeah, the second place goes to the fastest man in 40-yard dash history, better known as Bo Jackson. The former Los Angeles Raiders running back clocked 4.12 seconds at the 1986 NFL Scouting Combine or so say several sports media, since so much time has passed and the marked was timed and noted by hand, some people doubt the accuracy of this record. Whatever they say, Bo is a legend and not only in American football, but also in baseball, as he also played for the Kansas City Royals, Chicago White Sox, and the California Angels. If the fastest man in the 40-yard dash ranked second, who could be first? Number 1. Robert Hayes Better known as Bullet Bob, the legendary Dallas Cowboys split end has no recorded 40-yard dash mark. However, he's here as he became the fastest man in the world twice at the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. He ran the 100-meter dash in 10.06 seconds, winning the gold medal in that category, as well as the gold medal for the United States in the 100-meter team relay. That explosive potential didn't go unnoticed by the Dallas Cowboys, who signed him immediately. During his rookie year alone, he scored no less than 13 total touchdowns and 13 receiving touchdowns. Sorry NFL players, no matter how fast you are, no one has been able to dethrone Bullet Bob Hayes. He did it. Unbelievable. Hey, that was fast. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more interesting content. Until next time.